good morning. It is Thursday morning, Thursday, October 28th. I am taking Zaya to school and straight after that, I am about to go run a bunch of errands because I have a lot to do when it comes to Halloween costumes and Halloween party prep. So we're getting straight into it first thing this morning. First stop, we're fueling up at Starbies. Yesterday, actually the past three days, this week Monday Tuesday and Wednesday have been long work days for me and I have a long day ahead of me today like I said we have costumes we have like four different costumes to finish and work on and I have a lot to prep for the party that I'm having on Saturday Ravens Hollywood Halloween costume party need some Starbucks to fuel me up so I can get these things done because I really want my party to be cute and well put together and I really want my costumes to be cute y'all know me Virgo problems so I'm trying to do a lot in a little bit of time by myself but we gonna get it done okay so first stop is Walmart first thing I found are these kids gloves which I think I might add as part of Zaya's mermaid costume. I'm gonna like, I think, embellish them. I just think it might be cute. They're only like $3, so might end up using them, might not. I did wanna get like some rhinestones and some like hair paint to make her have like blue and purple and pink hair and do like a cute makeup look, but they only have black and yellow colored hairspray left. But they do still have, I think, what I need in the regular party section. I wanted to get some tablecloths, I think for my party, with the concession stand like snack setup i think i want to do red tablecloths okay i did actually find pink and purple colored hairspray hopefully this works for zaya's mermaid hair i found this little fringe banner might be cute as part of the like movie theater hollywood decorations and then this jenga like truth or dare type jenga game i have regular jenga but it'd be nice to have another set because we always play that so i picked up some stuff these pans for food these buckets to put ice for drinks these poster boards that i'm gonna make like little signs with as part of the part of the decor i never ended up getting those other earrings i was looking at for my baps costume these are not like exactly like what she's actually wearing in the movie but it's kind of a similar vibe like just the oversized gold hearts kind of ghetto fabulous vibes. So I think I'm gonna get these. These I just think are cute just for myself in general. So I think I'm gonna get these. And then I'm also looking for my pirate costume for accessories, but I'm like, what kind of jewelry would a pirate lady wear? So Walmart had most of the like, food and like party related stuff that I still need to get, but they were sold out of a couple of things. So I'm going to Target now to get, I still need pretzels. I rented a pretzel warmer machine, but it doesn't come with the pretzels. So I'm like trying to find who sells like big soft pretzels, like Auntie Anne's type pretzels that you can buy. I'm thinking like frozen, like a pack of frozen ones that I can like heat up and put into the pretzel warmer. Otherwise I rented this whole machine for nothing if I can't get any pretzels to put in it. So hopefully Target has that. Walmart was also sold out of the regular queso for the nachos. They only had like a giant container of it and I really don't need that much. So hopefully Target has that. And then I think that's pretty much it for the food. I'm doing hot dogs, pretzels, nachos, popcorn, candy, alcoholic slushies. Really it's a margarita machine, but like slushies, cause you know they have slushies at movie theaters. And then just like regular sodas and water for drinks. That's pretty much it for the food. And then as far as like decorations, I just wanna go back to Party City and pick up a couple of more things. There was one really specific decoration that I saw online that they said that they had in stock in store. And I think this is it and it's out of stock, of course, but I did find this. It's like a movie awards game. Like you vote like who's the best. I don't know. It doesn't really show you exactly what it is, but it's movie themed and it's some sort of game. So I feel like I should get it. These little decorations that I could hang up maybe. I already got this, this. I already got some stuff from this section the first time I came here, but they don't have that thing that I wanted. Oh, 
Okay, so last stop for real is H-E-B, the grocery store, because there's still two more things that I really want because I decided to do hot dogs and I really want the little hot dog serving little paper boat things that like you put a hot dog in. I have plates and I can use the plates if all else fails, but I really want those specific hot dog things because I just feel like it goes with the theme of like how they would give it to you in a movie theater almost. And then I really want the red and yellow squeeze bottles for the mustard and ketchup just to make it look more like the movie theater versus just having it in the regular bottles that they come in. Again, it's fine if I don't have them, but those are just two random things that I want. None of the stores that I've been to so far has had those two things. So fingers crossed, H-E-B has it. And outside of that, I believe that is my whole shopping list except for alcohol. There is a liquor store right here. And I think that's all I need. They had what I was looking for. Shout out H-E-B. I wish it wasn't red, white, and blue. I wish it was just red and white or just white. These will do. These are the only ones that they have and they have it pictured here with hot dogs in it. So this is exactly what I wanted. And now I just need to see if they have that mustard and ketchup bottle. It's super windy out here. I just got whipped in the face with a leaf, but mission complete. They have this set of the little squeeze bottles that I wanted. They have that. And I remembered that I completely ran out of toilet paper and that would have been bad to have a whole bunch of people at my house with no toilet paper in sight. So I remembered to get that and I even got the moist wipes. <laughs> so this is everything. I think I'm gonna go to the liquor store now though. Okay, so I've been back from the store for about an hour and a half. So far, Maya is here working her assistant duties today, so I was able to employ her to help with getting started on making this sign. So this is the posters that I got from Walmart and she put it together to make that sign because right here, I wanna hang it. I wanna have it say concessions for the concession stand set up, like all the food. I unloaded everything, kind of stacked everything up here and there. But overall, my house in general is just kind of a huge mess. Housekeeping is here. They're upstairs starting to clean upstairs like in Zaya's room and the guest room and stuff. But there's just stuff everywhere like toys and all the mess from making the Halloween costumes and like I just had clothes and just stuff everywhere. So not only do I need to make sure that just the main area of my house is clean for the party, I need to make sure that all the other rooms are clean because I'm having people stay over. So housekeeping is here, but they're here to like clean. I still need to like put my stuff away. So that's what I'm doing right now. And Maya is still here. She's helping me. She's in my closet right now, helping with my clothes. I had a bunch of clothes all over the floor. So she's hanging them up and I am just putting away other stuff. Like my bathroom was a mess, my room, the guest room, the playroom, every room. So this is what the playroom currently looks like. This is what I meant when I said, I need to pick up all this stuff before the cleaning ladies can even clean in here. Cause obviously like, what are they, like, they don't even know where to start. So I need to do that. I didn't even show y'all the guest room. The guest room has been full of toys. It was an absolute mess. I don't know if I ever showed it in any of my vlogs recently, but it looks back to normal now. They already cleaned in here. All the toys are cleared out. So this is an actual functioning guest room and I'm gonna need it. Cause I know for sure Age and her boyfriend are staying over and I think they're gonna stay in this room. So that's one thing at least done. Update, it's about 5 p.m. now. I haven't even gotten a chance to make progress with cleaning this up so that they can clean in here or any of the rest of the stuff that I need to do. Mainly just today it was finishing the costumes and I haven't even started with that part of it yet because I've been busy with people blowing up my phone. I have friends trying to come in from out of town for the party, so they're like asking me about their travel plans and if they can stay over and everything like that. And then I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do because this whole party was inspired by a picture that I saw of somebody who did a photo shoot and they dressed up as Baps. And so me and Daisha, my best friend Daisha, we decided that that's the costume we wanted to do this year. And so I actually planned this whole movie Hollywood themed party around that. Like since I knew our costume was from a movie, I decided to have a movie themed costume party. So that's where it all stemmed from. Daisha just told me that unfortunately she's not gonna be able to make it to the party. And so our costume was like a pair and it goes together. And it's just kind of, I don't know. I'm trying to decide like, do I want us completely switch my costume at the last minute since she's not coming or do should I just stick to it? Cause I'm like, I, I mean, it does still make sense by itself. It's 
not like it has to be with Daisha, I guess, but like, I just feel like it doesn't hit the same without the other character. And I don't know, I kind of been worried about my costume anyway because of the big hair piece. I'm like, am I gonna really wanna wear that all night? And then I have to switch into my pirate costume the next day and that's a whole different, so I got one wig on, then I'm gonna have that wig on, then I gotta switch to another, I don't know, I don't know. Just a lot of things are running through my mind when it comes to my costume. And of course, we have like one day if I do wanna switch anything. So I just been thinking about that and trying to look into that. And I'm really sad that Daisha can't come because that was literally like the whole inspiration for the party. Like not necessarily the whole point of the party because it's still happening and it's still, it is what it is. But I'm really sad that she can't make it because that's my partner in crime. Like that's the other half of my costume. We was gonna kill it at the party with the theme and she can't come and I'm sad. So I'm just trying to like recenter myself. Like the Virgo in me, y'all know, the Virgo in me right now is freaking out a little bit and I just don't feel like I've made enough progress today and it's already five o'clock and I need to go pick up Zaya and people are hitting me up like I can't come, like somebody else just told me that they can't come and I just, you know, the party planning is fun until it gets to this part, until it gets to the stressful part. Also, a second ago, my painting, I'll show y'all, but my painting that I have in the living room that's propped up on that table, it tipped over and it fell and it knocked over the vase and broke all over the floor. Luckily, housekeeping is still here, so they're helping me clean that up. But like, I'm just like, stuff is just falling over and tipping over and breaking. Things are shattering. The room is still a mess. My costume is not done. Am I changing my costume? What's going on? So it's hoopla and chaos and I'm stressed. I'll be back. Okay, I cleaned up my mess just in the nick of time. I have to leave now to go pick up Zaya from school, but I did get that picked up so they can actually like vacuum and clean in here. So at least that's done. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm feeling a little bit better now. One person from out of town said they can't come, but another person from out of town just said that they can come. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. You know, anytime you have a party, you never know who's actually gonna be able to make it. Sometimes people really, really wanna come and they just can't and it just is what it is. I can't control the guest list. I don't have that many friends to begin with so I'm just hoping for a decent amount of people honestly I'm hoping for like 20 25 people it's really not gonna be anything crazy yeah I am about to go pick up Zaya I just realized that I have not eaten today because I did not eat my sandwich that I got from Starbucks I just got busy shopping and I never ate it and so it's 5 p.m. and I haven't eaten a single bite of food and I'm like why do I feel like I'm about to pass out oh yeah food, probably need that. So I'm gonna pick up Zaya, I'm probably gonna stop and get us dinner maybe like Sonic or something, honestly. And after that, I still have a lot of stuff to do when it comes to finishing all of our different costumes. Okay, so I got Zaya from school. We've been home for like already about an hour and a half. I've made no progress with the things that I need to do. Uh, it's crunch time. I wanted to actually show you guys that I did get my step and repeat banner backdrop thing. It actually came yesterday and so I haven't opened it yet. I think I should open it now just to make sure that it's even the right thing. I don't want to wait till the last minute and be surprised. So I'm going to see if I can even open it. It's actually like heavy. It's kind of dark in here so hopefully y'all can see. Oh wow that's cool. Okay wow look at my branded my own branded backdrop. And I think it was smart the way that I like designed this because after this party, since it's just like my logo, like black and white my logo, I feel like there's other things that I could use this for. Like even just using it as a backdrop for videos or you know, something like that. But it looks cool. So it has two different logos and then my little like brush stroke design. Okay, cool. And it's really big. So I'm planning on hanging it up in this area somewhere and the red carpet will be like in front of it. I need to figure out how exactly I'm gonna hang it up, but that will wait until tomorrow. Okay, so it's 8.20 p.m. Have I finished our costumes? No, but I have decided that I'm going to arrange the candy in these. These are the containers from my pantry that I normally have my snacks for Zaya in. And I thought this would be a nice little display, you know, I think that works. Um, I have these little random things that are actually like makeup brush holes 
holders, but I think I could use them for the straws. I specifically wanted red slushy straws that have the little spoon at the end, you know? Attention to detail. So I think like that, I would make it look like, okay, okay, it's coming together. See, these are the little details that excite me about having themed parties. Like that, like for the straws, I have the popcorn containers. I have other stuff. I'm just trying to figure out like what the layout is gonna be. Finally got food, literally my first food of the day. I ordered Popeyes cause it's just that kind of night. So I'm gonna eat because I still have a lot more stuff to do tonight. This strawberry something slush from Popeyes. I didn't know they had this. It's different, kind of smacks. Bougie, this is not for you. Okay, so so far we got the candy, the straws in these little containers. I got another container out of my pantry for the cups. I got the actual dome lid cups, like for a slushy straws. And then I got these nacho holders. This, this, and this is from Amazon. All of the candies from Party City. These popcorn tubs are from Amazon, two different sizes, large or regular, you know, like you have size options at the movie theater. These are for the pretzels. They're like the little sleeves, like kind of how they give you at Auntie Anne's. Also got this from Amazon. These are just napkins. Got those from Party City. Then from the dollar store today, I got utensils. Cause I was thinking we're gonna need something to like pick up the hot dogs with and to maybe spoon the nacho cheese with. And they also had the little spoon rest things all for a dollar. So I got that and it matches with the kind of red and black color scheme. Then they had these things, which are the little basket liners, like paper liners like that. So I could put these into these trays that I got, but I don't know, like the trays themselves don't really match the vibe. Kind of bothering me. If it was just plain white, that would look perfect with this. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but like I just got these because they had them. It's really unnecessary. Like you don't need to put this in here. So I may not even use these, but they went with the theme obviously. So got those. I also got an extra set of these shot cups from Dollar Tree, even though I had already gotten some from Walmart. So I have these for shots. I also got just some regular cups in case we run out of the slushy cups or if people just wanna make different mixed drinks outside of the slush slushy. I got these. So I'm just like setting everything out in containers now. Yeah, this is what I got going so far. I bought this game at Party City without really knowing what the heck it was. So I'm gonna open it now and see what it even is. Cause I think it might be something you need to hang on the wall maybe, or is it just, I don't understand. At first I thought it was like a pin the tail on the donkey type vibe, but okay. Okay, I see. Okay, so basically it's a big poster. Okay, that's cute. It's a big poster that says movie awards. This is kind of dumb though, because like the categories, like how do you vote on that? I thought it was gonna be like funny categories to vote for people, but it's just like actual movie categories. So then it comes with these papers that you pass out to everyone. There's a bunch of them where they like vote for who they think like at the party should be each winner and then they only give you one winner thing like this is kind of dumb i don't i'm disappointed in this but i mean i guess i'll just hang it up somewhere maybe well that's that other than this stupid little game i just have regular games like i bought another set of jingle which i also wanted to open this because i couldn't tell if it actually had like dares written on it or if you're supposed to write the dares yourself. I don't think there's anything written on these things. What a rip off. They made it seem like it had like little challenges written on each block from the, see on the box, it has like stuff written on it. But I think maybe they mean you have to write it. Oh no, it does. Okay, 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 false alarm. It does have stuff written on it. Why are they stuck together? Pull again, boys drink, truth or dare, next pull with your eyes closed, make your own rule, social drink, what does that mean? Anyway, so we have this special Jenga and then I also have a set of just regular Jenga and then I have cards and I have like stuff for beer pong and whatever else, like Uno, <laughs> if, if it gets to be that type of night. But yeah, I couldn't really think of any other like activity or game that was like 
movie related. It is what it is. Okay, here's another thing I just thought of. Grab these out of my pantry. These are the baskets that normally have potatoes and onions, but they're also stackable. And I don't know, I think it kind of looks like something to put the things for the hot dogs and the things for the nachos. And I can even make a little sign that says like four hot dogs for nachos or whatever, you know, as part of the setup. Cute, cute. I'm just trying to make it look like, you know what I mean? Like a movie theater, like a restaurant, like everything is like set up, like not just laid out plain on the table. Does that make sense? I'm just trying to make it look like an actual concession stand. The good part about throwing several parties is that you start accumulating things that are left over from previous parties. I have these little labels that you can like label things with. So I can use these to label these like what I was talking about. I can also use them. They're actually stickers too. So you, I could stick them like here if I wanted to like make labels. Like I don't have different size cups, but normally it would say like small size cup, large, small, medium, large, or something like that. Or if I just want to label it like slushy cups, slushy straws, or like, I don't know if I just wanted to, obviously they don't need labels. You can see what it is. <laughs> it doesn't need to be labeled, but just to make it look cute. Like I could use these and stick them on here. That might be cute. Also, I have these little wooden baskets. It's a set of three. So I use these to prop things up. So I could do like this just to kind of help like add levels to it, help consolidate it so it's not just all one flat one layer of everything like this kind of helps with the with the setup so now it's like two levels of candy which it would kind of be like that at the movie theater you know what I mean like how they have like different shelves of stuff that's what I'm trying to like make it look like so this is like stuff that I had from before and in my pantry I kind of just have this whole side of my pantry that's like the entertainment entertaining <laughs> I'm tired entertaining section so I have more of these little wooden things I have tables runners, I have decor, I have skewers and forks and trays and straws and just all types of leftover things from all the different parties that I've had. But yeah, this is kind of like, everything that's gonna be going on over here is gonna be like the main focal point of the party. So I just wanna make it look as cute as possible with the food and it's gonna look even better once the rentals come because I have the popcorn machine, the pretzel machine and the margarita machine. That's also gonna be like part of this setup. So that's gonna look really cool cool hopefully okay boo boo so it's bedtime but you know tomorrow is friday which means y'all are having y'all's halloween party at school and you're supposed to wear your costume but your real costume that i made you is very like delicate and i feel like if you wear it to school it might get messed up so I think maybe we can just use your regular dress up mermaid dress that you had like in your dress up box and you can wear that and you could still be a mermaid, but we can save your real costume for trick or treating. Is that a good idea? Okay, so let's go get that ready for tomorrow. So yeah, Zaya is having her Halloween party at school tomorrow, so they're supposed to wear their costumes. But as I've said before, I'm really concerned about her wearing her actual costume because they just play so rough and so hard and so dirty at school that this would literally come back destroyed. And then what is she gonna wear on actual Halloween for trick-or-treating on Sunday? So I know she has a mermaid dress up dress somewhere around here. Where exactly? Nobody knows. But if I can find that, then she can just wear that. You need to help me find it. It's supposed to be in this box, but everything is all mixed up in this box. So I don't know. Right here, is this it? Yes. Okay. See, she has this. This is just your typical everyday mermaid dress. It's cute, but it's just not the custom dress that I made. So, you know, she could have just wore this for Halloween. And like, I'm sure she probably would have even been fine with that, but I just want to do something a little bit more special for her actual costume. I mean, I mean, I mean. But this is a lot more wearable and even like more comfortable to be wearing all day at school. So is that cool? Maybe the belt, you can wear the belt that I made and the necklace that I made to kind of jazz it up. And we can maybe do your makeup and your hair for school too. Like, yeah. like mermaid makeup. Okay, so I'll lay this out for school and we'll save the real costume for a real Halloween. So remember when my vase broke earlier? Luckily this one didn't completely shatter. The other matching one was a goner, but this one, this piece kind of just broke off. I think I can glue it back on and make it work. So I got some super glue. Let's see. 
Hello, good morning. It is 7 o'clock in the morning on Friday. I threw on the same um, like hoodie from yesterday. I woke up this morning and was like, okay, let me make Zaya's lunch. Let me do da, da da I always do that. On days when they have like parties and festivals and stuff, we don't need to bring them lunch because they're having like a pizza party. So I packed her lunch for no reason. I just put all that stuff back. Now I am going to go upstairs. I have to get her into her costume for school today. I think we're gonna kind of keep it pretty minimal. I'm also checking right now to see my craft room. First of all is a madhouse. A lot of crafts going on between the DIY costumes and stuff like that. But I'm checking to see if I actually have everything that I need to finish up the DIYs that I'm doing for the party, which, did I finish anything last night? No. I had a list of probably like 10 things that I wanted to accomplish last night and I think I accomplished two of them. So today is gonna be interesting because I wasn't planning on having to do all this stuff today. But you know, that's life. Um, once I get Zaya off to school, I have limited time to even do those things because I have people coming in from out of town, flying in from out of town, just for my little old house party, which makes me feel so special. Shout out to my friends. But since people are flying in, they need to be picked up from the airport. They need to be hosted and whatnot. So I was planning on being done with everything before they get here and I'm not done. So <laughs> kind of concerned. A little concerning. One thing about being a crafty person, like I said with the party supplies, once you start having a lot of parties, you start having a lot of supplies left over. Once you start doing a lot of crafts, you start having a lot of supplies left over. But I'm just double checking to make sure I actually have the exact stuff I need because and you see, you know what? I need this red paper, so I got that. But I also need some, I think I need some white cardstock. So I think I am gonna have to go to like Michael's or something after I drop Zaya off at school. Anyways, let's go wake up Zaya and get her into her costume. Last minute thing while Zaya is brushing her teeth, I need to add the clasp to the necklace that I made. Cause this is like not stretchy, like it can't just stretch over her head. It actually needs like a little clasp on it. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Fun fact, I used to be really into jewelry making. That was more so in middle school. And I used to have like the whole kit. These are actually my original pliers from back then. I've cycled through a lot of hobbies, like anything, Anything where you're making something, you know what I mean? At one point, I probably was into that, like any sort of craft or DIY. So luckily I know how to do this. Done. So mermaids are known for having their long flowing hair, but this mermaid requested buns today. So I'm just going to wrap her ponytails into buns, but I wanna see if I can add some of these pearls and gemstones to her hair using like hair gel as the glue. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I think it would be cute to have like some stuff in her hair just to make it look a little bit more mermaid magical. Those are the buns, that's cute. I wanna see like if I take one of these and just put a little bit of this got to be glue. Again, I don't want anything that's Okay, that might actually work. I might have just did something. I don't really want this on my hair. You don't like it? You want me to do it or no? Okay, fine. <laughs> So we started with a base of just her regular store-bought mermaid dress-up dress and then just added the belt that I made and the necklace that I made, which actually coordinates really well with it and I think it adds a little cute touch to it. Zaya has requested no special hairstyle. Do you want the makeup though? Okay, so let's go in my glam room and do the makeup. Okay, so 
We came into my glam room. I picked out a few products that have the colors that I think we need, like the blue and purple. I actually think I'm gonna dip into Time the Infamous's Cake Face Palette. I haven't even like swatched these colors, but it has like some really cool colors in it, like that color. Should we try that? It has the droopy things on it too. Close your eyes, look at me. Start with some purple in the crease. Some of this blue. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna try this glittery color. Pretty. You like it? Let's see. I have purple mascara for your eyelashes. Let me see if it even works. Look, look at me, straight at me. Look at me, don't close. This is hard. Yeah, I know mascara is hard to put on. Then I have this little glittery holographic. It's like an all-in-one lipstick highlight, everything. So you can use that on the cheeks. There. What do you think? Like it. Like it? You think we're done? Mm, don't know yet. What else would you want to add? Can we try anything else the colors? More colors on your eyes? I think you have a lot on your eyes already. Some people with colors might do it on like cheeks and stuff. You want blush? Is that what you're saying? Okay, let me get a blush. Okay, there. Now we're done. Okay, let me see. Looks good. Have fun. So I'm at Walmart for the 100th, 100th time. Getting some last minute things, just drops I off at school. I needed the stuff to do my nails for my Baps costume. I think I'm gonna mix these two colors to kind of get the color that she has in the costume. I mean, in the movie. And then I'm getting these tips to make my nails longer because hers are like super long and curved. So I'm gonna like glue these as like extensions on my nails. Hopefully that works. And as I'm looking at the nail polishes, look who it is right here. Okay, so I'm so I'm wanting to make like an entrance sign, like Raven Elise Cinema, Raven Elise Theater for like the entrance. And I didn't really have it fully thought out. I found these letters here at Walmart. They don't have an I, but I think I can cut the L to make an I. I think I'm gonna get this and like paint them. Okay, I got the last few things I needed. I think those are the last few things I needed. I won't be surprised if I end up coming back over here tomorrow. But it's funny because yesterday when I was in here, I met a subscriber. I believe her name was Lauren. I hope it was Lauren. Shout out Lauren, if that was your name. And then today, just now, I met another subscriber. Her name was Jada, I believe. So shout out Lauren and Jada. Apparently I come to Walmart every single day. So if you wanna meet me, just come to Walmart. <laughs> now I have to rush home because I have so many little, pro like making the sign and making the hair piece and making this and making that, like so many things left that I still need to like make. And I literally have like maybe three hours to devote to it right now. So I just need to hurry up. Y'all, like I just said, I am in such a rush to get home and I'm trying to, like I'm on the street that's like outside of my neighborhood and it's a whole bunch of traffic. Like it's super backed up and there should never be traffic over here. So I'm trying to turn in the corner and see what's going on. I think it has to be an accident right in front of my neighborhood entrance. Somebody just drove by the other direction going like this, like trying to tell us to just turn around. The way my neighborhood is, there's like one entrance. If this one entrance is blocked off, I'm screwed. I'm literally one minute away from my neighborhood, but it's looking like it's gonna take 30 minutes. So for these letters, as far as turning this L into an I, I don't even own a saw. So I'm gonna have to literally try to cut through this with a knife. It's like wood. So hopefully I can cut through it with something. And then just like snap it off like this. <gasps> Yay! Okay, look at me, I'm smart, I'm handy. That literally looks like a perfect eye now. You would have never known. Hey, get you a girl who is smart. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of jumping back and forth between different projects, but for this poster, for the concessions poster, I'm going to cut out the letters using the Cricut machine, but I need to measure exactly how big I need to make it. So this gives me about 42 inches to work with going across. 
42 by 14. So I can go in on the Cricut and design those letters. It's just gonna say concessions and I found like a perfect font for it and I'm gonna cut it out on white paper and just glue it on. And then I'm also gonna cut out Raven Elise for my other sign, cause it's gonna say Raven Elise Cinema with those wooden letters that I got. This is the font. It looks like marquee letters, like light up letters. So I just need to make this the right size and cut it out. This is the paper that I just got from Walmart, just a bunch of white paper. Okay, so I got the Cricut going on all the letters for concessions. Hopefully it cuts it out nicely. While this is cutting out, I am going to go take a shower because like I said, I have guests coming early today, so <laughs> need to get myself together. Actually, just kidding, I'm not gonna take a shower because I think it would be smarter to spray paint these letters first before I shower. That's gonna look so cool. This was a nice little last minute touch if I do say so myself. All right, y'all, it is Saturday, October 30th, the day of the party. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Last night, I went out, like I said, I had guests coming in from out of town, so did that. So I woke up this morning at 10 a.m., literally just now, and just rolled out of bed because I'm like, I still have so much to do for this party. Mainly, the main two things are figuring out the decorations and making my wig for my costume because I kept saying over the last like two weeks, I was gonna make that wig, I was gonna make it, I was gonna make it, and I never did and now it's the day of the party and I don't have my wig and that's like the main piece of my costume. But as of right now, like y'all saw yesterday, I got started with using the Cricut machine to cut out things that I needed to cut out. And I did make a little bit of progress yesterday with just putting this one sign together. So the concession stand sign, my spacing on the letters, not perfect, but we're gonna roll with it. And then I just need to glue down this part. So yeah, glue stick for that. And then I have those letters that I spray painted yesterday and I need to figure out like what or how I'm going to put those up because they're just individual letters. So they need to be like stuck to the wall somehow. I want to put them up here, I think because you know people walk in the front door and then they walk into the party through there so I would like to have like Raven Elise cinema but I just don't know how I'm going to attach all of that to the wall so I have like command hooks and stuff like that all throughout the day today I don't even know exactly what time I kind of just have to stay home and wait around which I mean I'm gonna be home anyway because I have to be doing all this but the popcorn machine is being dropped off oh I don't think I even said the margarita machine did get dropped off yesterday they gave me the mix and the instructions for it and I bought the tequila for it when I went to the liquor store. Last time I had a margarita machine was at my housewarming party and I believe the people came and like set the whole thing up for me. Like they got, they filled it up and they got it going for me. So I have to do this one myself and I'm kind of like, mm. Hope it turns out good. But what I was gonna say is, margarita machine did already get delivered yesterday, but today the popcorn machine, pretzel machine, the red carpet and the velvet ropes are being delivered at some point today. They gave me a window of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So that's gonna be delivered. When that stuff starts to get delivered, then I can start to kind of like figure out exactly how I want the concession stand to be set up. I already got a head start with, you know, everything else, which is good, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> Another thing that may be a really stupid idea, but I have all these drinks, right? And I want them to be cold. I don't just wanna put them in my fridge. Number one, I do not have space in my fridge right now and I don't want guests going in and out of my fridge. So I got these buckets and I was gonna just get ice, fill them with ice, put the drinks in these buckets and have them set out that way. But then I thought about how if you go to the movie theater and you go to the concession stand, they have the drinks in like a refrigerator thing. You say like, I want a Coke and they go grab it from like the fridge. And I have a mini fridge out here on my patio, but it doesn't have a glass front. If it was glass in the front, that would be perfect. But the fact that it's not glass, you can't even like see what's in there anyway. I thought about unplugging it from out there, bringing it in here somewhere and using that as the drink fridge. But I think the fact that it's not glass on the front kind of ruins the whole idea. So probably we'll just stick to putting them on ice. Are a real red 
carpet, not that little fake paper thing from Amazon. Wow, this is nice though. So this is where the red carpet is gonna be and then I also got the velvet ropes to block off the red carpet. seven o'clock I told people they could start coming at nine which really means hopefully they'll come at like 10 but I did tell people they could come at nine it's seven o'clock as you can see I haven't even started getting ready and I also haven't even started making the top part of the wig but I thought about it and I don't think it's gonna take me too long to put together because I'm gonna be using like hot glue and I think I have a pretty good plan so it should take me probably about 30 minutes I think to put this together and probably another hour to do my makeup and everything else at least so I'll probably be ready like right as people start showing up. I know Rel is coming early at eight o'clock just to kind of help finishing. He's always so kind and offering to come early for everything to help me out. So he's coming early. So I will be able to put him hopefully on the duty of getting all the machines started. Rel is also doing a duo costume of Kenan and Kel from Good Burger. So I did the accessories for him. I just used the Cricut to cut out construction paper for the logo and put it on bags and paper hats so that they could have the branded logo for their costume. So I did get that done and I think that turned out super cute. They're gonna look so cute. I made a big mess in my office doing all of that. Let me just, you just gonna turn the light off and nobody has to see the mess. I actually still have some decorations. Like I didn't put up any of this stuff. Maybe Rel can help me put it up when he gets here. Cause I would like to still use this. I got the Hollywood stars on the floor and I'm gonna have Sharpies so people can write their name. The stars lead over to the concession stand. I'll give y'all a better look later, but gotta get the pretzels going. Gotta get the popcorn going and gotta get the margarita machine going, which I don't know how long this takes to freeze. I probably should have looked at that because I might need to get this started now so it can freeze up. Ready in 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so that's not that long. It just basically says dump everything in there and turn it on. Pretzels are gonna be easy. Popcorn, I don't know. I didn't even look at the instructions yet. I think the popcorn might be the most difficult machine. Uh, yeah, maybe Rel can help me, I don't know. <laughs> Over here, I ended up just making this like the game table. Like if people wanna play Pong or play any of these games, I just have these set out. I moved the bar stools out the way so that people could actually reach the food. Hollywood sign, now showing. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is use this paper as a base and shout out to, um, oh my God, now I can't think of her name. Glam, oh my God, what's her name? I will put her on the screen. I'm so sorry, girl, I'm, I'm too tired right now. Now my brain is fried, but she did a video all about how she DIY'd this exact costume and she showed how she did the hair. And so I'm definitely taking notes from her video. So what she did is she took like a piece of paper or cardstock, used that as a base and just kind of laid hair across it to cover it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut the hair like this. This is just braiding hair that I actually already had from when I did those platinum braids and then basically let me see if putting hairspray would help i'm gonna just like hot glue it though she used a lot of gel and hairspray in hers but i'm kind of cheating by just doing hot glue and hopefully it works Things are coming 
together. The hair piece absolutely did not come together. I literally ended up having to not use hair at all. Like when I tell you I tried everything, glue, hot glue, hairspray, gel. I tried everything. I tried doing it like the girl on YouTube. It wasn't working. I don't think I gave myself enough time to really figure it out. So I opted for just making it completely out of paper. Still did the rhinestone, still did the general shade. I actually made it kind of like a party hat with elastic. And so I just have the wig and I am just literally wearing this on top like a party hat. And you know, it gets the job done. It's better than nothing. It's not at all what I wanted or what I planned, but it kind of, it just gets the job done. I have to like fix it, but this is the general idea. I feel like, you know, from a distance in pictures gives you the general idea. And then I have my earrings. I put the outfit on, belt, pants, heels. Y'all see a better look in a minute. And then I got gold fake nails and poly grip to do a gold tooth. So I cut this nail to the length of my tooth and I'm gonna see if I can glue this to my, I have no makeup on yet. Um, two of my guests are already here helping me set up, Rel and Malcolm. Nobody else is here yet. I was, it's already 9.18. Nobody else is here yet. I said nine o'clock, but like I said, knowing them, they was really gonna come at 10, which is good. I think I need to dry my tooth off before I do this. I have made such a mess in my bathroom. I'm bumping into everything. I made such a mess in my bathroom I'm trying to get this wig together for nothing. This end up with this. But I think this this is okay, right? Better than nothing. Okay, dry the tooth off. Then I'm gonna go put some makeup on real quick before everybody gets here. Put some poly grip. <laughs> general idea. I have to fix it. I really just want it for pictures because I can't like eat and drink with this on. Hey, okay, we get somewhere, we get somewhere. time I was happy with the setup of everything I wish more people would have been able to come a lot of people weren't able to come at the last minute but with the little small guest list that I did have we had fun everybody's costumes look great looked great and yeah it was fun it's Halloween night and we're getting ready to go trick-or-treating so as you can see I'm already mostly in my costume Zaya has her costume on I am just fixing up her hair and I'm probably gonna put some makeup on her do you want to wear makeup Okay, and then we're gonna go trick or treating. We're gonna take pictures in our costumes. I think both of my looks came out pretty cute. So for her hair, I'm having her wear her hair down. I think I'm just gonna put, like kind of slick the front behind her ears so we can put the headband. Kind of behind your ears like that. So then the crown. I mean, I did buy that um, hair spray paint, like pink and purple spray paint, but I feel like that's not even gonna really be the vibe for this costume. Just need the makeup and your accessories, which I think we left at Grammy's house on accident. We're going over there anyway, because I think Grammy Street is more popping for trick-or-treating than my street. My street doesn't really have a lot of people participating. Like nobody has come to ring my doorbell yet. And I saw like there were kids out, but they're not like coming to my street for some reason. So I think if we go to Grammy's house, that'll be a better trick-or-treating spot. What do you think about it? 
It looks so pretty. I love it. And this is my costume. So I made my costume just out of what I already had in my closet. I already had this top layered something underneath it so it wouldn't be too much. I already had this skirt and these boots. This and this is the only thing I had to buy. Final look. Let me see your eyeshadow. Close your eyes. Wow, we have the crown, the makeup, the necklace, very fancy top, the belt, and the tail. What do you think? You like it? Give me a pose. Give me some poses. Another one. Give me a spin. Woo! Okay, off to trick or treat. What do you say when you get when they open the door? You have to say it loud or else they won't give you any candy. Trick or treat. A candy shoot. Whoa! Did you catch it? Wow, scary. Look. You know where the candy is? I'm sorry, it's between the witches. They took it from me. Oh, the witches have the candy. Are you scared? I'll go with you. I'll go first. It's right here. You want me to get it for you? You can come. It's okay. Ah! I'll get it for you. Ah! Was that scary? Thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.